I recently bought a copy of Pokemon Black 2 used online and I paid $235 for it. And today I want to go through it, explore the save file the previous owner left on it, and see if there's anything on this game that might make it worth $235. Because it's honestly kind of curious like how this game got to be so expensive. All right, so we have a save file here from Kendall, last saved in Flossessi, Flossessi Town? Is that, I don't, I've never played Black 2 and White 2. I have no idea how to say these names. Agent Badges, 66 hours. Let's see what they have going on. The Nintendo DS was one of the most popular consoles of the 2000s, basically. Pokemon is one of the most popular anime thing to basically ever exist. So tell me why nobody seems to have ever bought the sequel to one of the most popular games from one of the most popular franchises on the most popular console of the early 2000s. To answer this question, we need to take a little trip back to the year 2012, when Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 were brand new on store shelves. I want you to picture yourself back in your mom's living room, Ben 10 Omniverse playing on the TV in the background, and you're trying to convince your mom to let you go see the new Avengers movie. When you hear this start to play in the background, in Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2, there are new powers to unleash and new challenges to overcome. The new Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2. You can discover the new in 2. Playable on Nintendo DS and 3DS systems, rated E for everyone. And you can get the mythical Pokemon Genesect, only available for a limited time. I actually kind of remember seeing this commercial at like 12, 13 years old and wondering why on earth would I ever buy this game when I already own Pokemon Black and White? Why is this on the DS? The 3DS is out already. Yeah, there's not really anything crazy going on with it and I don't actually have one yet at this time, but this seems like the perfect game to convince me to want to buy a 3DS. Where is my three-dimensional Pokemon game, Nintendo? Okay, right off the bat, I have no idea where we spawned in at. I know we have Alder right here. Oh, but I recognize this. I recognize this from like watching people play the game. This is like the second town, right? This is what the normal type gym is, I think. Check our badges here. I don't know what that blue bubble means. That's a Q signature. I don't know what I expect. Adventure started in 2013. This is their original save file. The years following the Wii and the DS were kind of filled with growing pains for Nintendo. It seems like they just couldn't figure out what they were doing with their consoles and they seem to kind of be skating by on the fact that they are Nintendo. They had the Wii U out, which couldn't differentiate itself from the Wii at all in its commercials. And in fact, they aired a ton of commercials like with the whole point being trying to convince people, hey, this is different than your Wii. And the 3DS just didn't have any impressive software for it. Like the, the 3DS was cool, but what, are you gonna get a 3DS to play Steel Diver? Considering the Wii U and the 3DS had similar names as well as similar designs to their predecessors, people just weren't really interested in picking them up. They just kind of seemed like a cash grab for the most part. And, and I know that I fell into that trap. The only reason I ever got a 3DS was when Pokemon X and Y were announced. I was like, okay, well now I have to buy one because I want to play the new Pokemon games. And of course, since then it's become one of my favorite consoles and I've used it a ton, but I still to this day don't even own a Wii U. Interesting lineup here. Riley, Riley the Lucario holding the King's Rock. He's got Psychic, Poison Jab, War Sphere, and Earthquake. Magmar holding the Magmarizer. Never got a chance to evolve, but she was, they, they were working on it. Altaria with no nickname, Natural Cure, Dragon Dance, Dragon Breath, Fly, and Dragon Pulse. Zuri, Thick Fat with Splash Bubble, Tail Whip, and Water Spout. They used their starter as their HM slave. That's so sad. Although I guess Surf and Waterfall on Samurott is not the worst thing. Last but not least, we have Willow here in the party with Charcoal, Flamethrower, Outrage, Overheat, and Crunch. Not bad. Now I talk about this to give a little bit of a context to why I think it is that the Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 games really didn't sell all that well, which leads to the reasoning that I think the prices are so high today because there's just not that many copies floating around. I think that if they had just simply made Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 for the 3DS. They could have managed to not only sell more 3DSs at the beginning, which they were struggling to do, but I think more people probably would have bought Black 2 and White 2 to go with their new 3DS, you know, if, for the people that were already buying them for Steel Divers, I guess. I mean, they did release the Pokedex 3D app on the 3DS, which came out the same time as Black 2 and White 2, which raises even more questions for me as to why they didn't just release Black 2 and White 2 on the 3DS, because they knew that they needed to put something Pokemon on the 3DS to get players to upgrade to the 3DS. And they gave us this, they, they, gave, they gave us this. What are we supposed to do with this? Look at that. What are we supposed to do with that? Let's see, uh, 
Do we think we're gonna have legendaries? Maybe a shiny or two? 66 hours seems like maybe not enough for shiny hunting, but so far, I'm seeing nothing super crazy. They do have the Swords of Justice in here though. There's their Zekrom. Okay, and they did they did already catch Cresselia as well as, uh, let's see, is that is that possibly the event Zoroark? Drifvale City, yeah, that's the event Zoroark, wow. And it looks like, oh wait, oh, there's one guy just hanging over here by himself for Magsby all by himself. Oh, and I, I missed this one. We got Ducky and Venus here as well as Dovely. All right, we got some nicknames in here. Magpie, I like it. Jelly Mang, <laughs> all right. Little cutie. <laughs> That seems to be all we have going on in here, but I want to check the Pokedex real quick to just see. Oh yeah, we're still missing a ton. Never even caught Kyurem, huh? And people at the time were just kind of tired of the DS. We were moving on to the 3DS. We were looking for bigger and better things. We knew that there was a Pokemon game around the corner for the 3DS. I guess the lesson here is, is uh, go ahead and spend money on that game that nobody else is buying. Cause you never know if uh, one day it might be worth a lot of money. Let's just go, go buy all the games. Go buy every game. When you're 80, you can sell some of them. Maybe buy a car. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like button on the way out the door. I'm currently rocking above a 90% viewer unsubscribed rating. So that means you're probably not subscribed and mean a lot to me if you could change that, because we're still on our way to 500 and we're so close. Also, before you hit the road, don't forget to check out this video right here. This is YouTube's suggestion for you. I don't know what this one is, but this one over here, this is a banger. And I know bangers. <laughs> With that, I see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,